Hi everyone, this is me, Jungus Production, or maybe you can call me PC Break on subreddit. Uh, as you can see, you guys are requesting to make how do I make this thing, this look 2D looks thingy things with the outline and the shader things. So, onto Blender, as you can see, it's mostly just by just using one texture, most of them. Well, some of them just using two texture, like this one. No, 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 not this one. Maybe this one. I think. Ah, yes, this one. This is one. Just use one shader. Just using this thing, and most of them are just procedural. It might be a little bit complex, but you can follow me. I can make it simpler things. This is just yeah, you know. Uh, I may see things, I'm too lazy to, yeah, you know that. So, on to tutorial, uh, we are going to make Karen. This is my, a little bit easier. Alright, it's finished. Now I'm going to make the base shader for the cartoony looks things. Okay, first of all, rename it first. Base material. Go to render and don't forget, change it to EV. And first of all, we are going to search for a wait. Going for the the brush stroke all right I'm see uh, not this one all right this one I'm going to give you in the link below okay now as you can see it's become this and so ugly how do you fix it just change into object oh yeah don't forget this control T and change to object from UV to object and it's still ugly how do I fix that just simply press control A and scale and it's still ugly how do you fix it UV unwrap press tab press all right click and unwrap you can choose if you too lazy, just use Smart UV Project, and boom, it's done. Now, I will apply it to first of all create the normal map. No. Oh yeah, don't forget change it to non color. Normal mode, and we apply it to normal. To that, we see the result. Mm, wait. And boom, it already looks like a brushing stroke things. And we just wanted to keep it. And if you feel like, oh, this is so strong, you can a bit lower. Or this is, oh, this is not so look brushing things. You can change it. You can increase it to two, and I like the default one. So this is your base base brush stroke. 
and we apply the texture as you can see this is the metal from SpongeBob and I have the texture too and where is it but the beam but the boom oh it's here and boom this is Karen body the main texture just apply here and you're done oh the metallic you're done and change this material to wait I forgot mm, this is the glass things so I just make it specular from base material duplicate and delete this assign make it black and you're done also the roughness maybe if we want a little bit lower and it's done so you might be asking question how do we make this, this line it's just simply uh, I usually use the solidify and using this modifier but there's a geometry node and we can make it easier and this pick can become a template oh wait I forgot to change this thing I also call it uh, monitor class create new change to world eh, I mean change to geometry node alright that's now we create the outline first of all we create the plane and the relative vertices make it 0 to 0 and we rename it outline create geometry nodes or maybe you can press new alright first of all we put some subdivision if you need but I usually rarely really need it so yeah if you want it just put level zero and the next thing we use extrude mesh this thing this thing and then we create collection info or you can just drag and drop the mesh over here you can use the geometry or you can use the collection info I prefer using the collection info let's say I I rename it monitor create a collection character monitor Karen hat outline just drag and drop here current hat and put it over here oh man so ugly how do I fix it just uncheck this thing and it's done so the next step no oh wait the next step we want to flip it flip faces and we add the shader click the outline add shader and we call it outline to the shader object we delete it or we create diffuse bsdf instead of using emission you can use it emission or diffuse but i prefer diffuse since it can react to our light so diffuse and then we create transparent and then we create mix shader and the last thing is geometry we just simply put here put this thing and this thing and this 
Alright, change the color to black. Roughness, yeah. Maybe make it one. Now let's get back to geometry node. Uh, set material. Set material and choose the outline. And boom, we create the outline. And it's so big, so we can change it to maybe become this more or less like this and this is how I make a simple outline with geometry node so there's the next step it may look like well, too constant and we want to make it uh, a little bit you know grungy things just like this one inconsistent thing so it can look like a brush stroke how do I make it? And we create math and change it to multiply put it into this and put it into offset and boom we can check the result. Uh, maybe and you can play it from over here. But I love to make it one and the value to maybe um, maybe this thing 0 0.6 and we are uh, maybe a little bit on wait wait mm, 0.3 oh my 0.8 lower and we are done there's some uh, missing outline over here as you can see, usually the animator or the the illustrator and here Blender, it most of them just you know automatic. So we create it manually and yet still automatically. Okay. First, oh wait, just under first. First, we select the outline, this thing, and this thing. All right, this, and this, and this. Since we don't want here, uh, here, 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 and here, we want to keep this outline we just don't want this outline so just press shift D, duplicate it as you can see this is the outline and press P to separate it outline additional And after that, we press tap again, select all the outline, and press E to extrude it. And boom. You can see the result. And you can repeat it. And you can adjust it again, from this thing to this thing. And you can also make this thing transparent. I prefer to make this thing transparent. So we make another node transparent. Transparent. Shader and transparent BSDF and assign and boom we are done 
So we make another this outline again. Select this thing, press just press Alt and click the outline, and also here press Alt again. Oh wait, press Alt again and Shift, and press that Alt again and Shift. Duplicate and press P selection. Outline additional. Outline add to. Select the outline to. Press all and after that we extrude it. Just press simply press E. And boom. It's showing the result. And don't forget make it make it transparent. Transparent. There you have it guys. A simple tutorial. I hope you understand my my tutorial and my English might be not a little bit good since I am non English speaker. If you have any question, feel free to ask. And I'll see you again on next tutorial.